In the modern world, full of noise and hustle, silence is often seen as a challenge, a suffocating void that makes us feel anxious and insecure. We frequently rush to fill that silent space, avoiding the discomfort it brings. However, from the perspective of Stoicism, silence is not merely a means to keep secrets or avoid trouble. It becomes a powerful tool for seeking inner peace and developing mental strength. I once heard a civil case lawyer talk about how he uses silence as a strategy in the courtroom. When a witness seems to have finished their statement, he intentionally remains silent for a short period to create a pressure-filled atmosphere. This silence often leads the witness to continue speaking, sometimes resulting in mistakes. This demonstrates that silence is not just a void. It's a strong reminder that it's not necessary to fill every moment with words to face and deeply understand the power of speech in silence. Epictetus once taught us, keep silence for the most part and speak only when you must and then briefly. In each spoken word, each moment of silence we preserve, we not only show respect for others, but also express self-respect, self-awareness, and a deep understanding of ourselves and the world around us. So, are you ready to explore the power of silence? Let's embark on this journey together, exploring essential situations where silence is not just an option, but a vital need. But before we continue, I want to emphasize the importance of watching the entire video and not skipping any lessons. Each point mentioned will help you unlock valuable insights and lessons on the importance of silence in life. Lesson number one. Dealing with anger. Each of us has felt our hearts sink with anger at some point. It might be during a tense moment with a colleague as we seek common ground for a project, in the revelation of a relationship breaking, or the helplessness felt when our beloved child ignores our words. This anger often invades unexpectedly, like a storm arising from the depths to sweep away reason and leave a trail of regret and hurt. In such moments, stoicism serves as a beacon teaching us to confront these strong emotions, not just with rationality, but also with a heart full of compassion. When anger begins to smolder within us, remember the story of Seneca, a Stoic philosopher. As he faced betrayal by a friend, instead of allowing anger to overwhelm him, Seneca reflected and realized that anger, if not restrained, is often more harmful to us than the injury that provokes it. He chose to approach the situation with empathy and understanding, recognizing that each of us is fighting our own internal battles. To confront anger, the first step is to identify and accept it with clarity. This doesn't mean suppressing or denying your emotions, but understanding and accepting them as an inevitable part of the human experience. Next, explore the rooted cause of this emotion. Is it a feeling of helplessness in an uncontrollable situation or frustration due to unmet expectations? Once the cause is understood, we can apply stoic logic to view the situation more objectively. Remember, in most cases, anger doesn't solve the problem but can worsen it. Ask yourself, how can you transform this feeling into a positive action or a valuable lesson? Finally, Consider transforming anger into motivation for personal growth and improving relationships with others. For instance, if you're angry with a colleague over a misunderstanding, instead of retaliating, you could choose to discuss and clarify the issue, thereby building a stronger working relationship. Stoicism not only helps us control anger, but also teaches us to transform it into an opportunity for personal development and a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. Through this, we find inner peace and improve our relationships with the world around us. Practice handling anger if you agree. Lesson number two, when confronted with injustice. When facing injustice, it's not just a challenge to fairness, but also a lesson in the strength of the spirit. Stoic philosophy teaches us not only how to control our reactions, but also how to seek inner peace amidst life's storms. Silence in Stoic philosophy is not about giving up or accepting anything without basis. Instead, it is seen as a powerful choice, a tool to confront and overcome injustice without losing our inner tranquility. Consider a specific example. You are an experienced employee dedicated tirelessly to your company, 
But one day you discover that a less experienced colleague has been promoted instead of you. The feeling of injustice hits, and your self-esteem is wounded. However, instead of reacting by expressing anger or disappointment, you choose a different path. You take time to reflect on the situation, reassess your value, and what you truly seek in your career. You mustn't let negative emotions cloud your reason. Instead, you decide to use this moment as an opportunity for personal growth. Focus on enhancing your skills and expanding your knowledge. Stoicism not only helps us control anger, but also teaches us to transform it into an opportunity for personal development and a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. Through this, we find inner peace and improve our relationships with the world around us. Practice handling anger if you agree. Lesson number three, navigating the storm of insulting words. Before we delve into lesson three, let's join me in a story about Cato, a famous Stoic philosopher and politician. Cato was known for his unwavering loyalty to his ethics, often mocked and looked down upon by his peers. However, he remained steadfast, always committed to his principles without faltering. His life is a vivid testament to the stoic belief that true strength lies within our beliefs, not in external recognition. Indeed, our lives often go through storms, big and small, among which the storm of insulting words poses a particularly tough challenge. However, in stoic philosophy, we are taught that silence and perseverance can be a strong armor against those storms. First, accepting differences is an important starting point. Stoics are not superstitious. They don't simply pretend not to care about insults. Instead, they recognize that others' opinions are just personal views, unable to change one's true value. In this way, they focus on controlling what they can change, not what they cannot. Moreover, controlling emotions is a skill that Stoics practice daily. In the storm of insults, they do not let themselves be swept away by emotions such as anger or hurt. Instead, they keep their spirit calm and clear, facing every challenge with patience and strength. However, the most important thing is not just controlling emotions, but also viewing situations objectively. Stoics see insults as a natural part of life and not worth losing control over. Instead of reacting with anger or hurt, they keep their thoughts clear and lucid to make the right decisions and cope most effectively. Finally, Stoic philosophy teaches us about empathy and tolerance. Instead of retaliating with words or counteractions, they may choose silence or a gentle word to prevent escalating conflicts and foster more constructive communication. In summary, navigating through the storm of insults is not simply about avoidance, but a process of learning and practicing patience, perseverance, and wisdom. Only by practicing Stoic philosophy can we live a free and calm life, even in the most difficult situations. Lesson number four, dealing with unfair criticism and gossip. In life, no one can avoid being unfairly criticized or subjected to spreading rumors that are not accurate. What's important is not that we encounter such situations, but how we face and overcome them. The philosophy of Stoicism, with its spirit of patience and self-control, provides a way to overcome these challenges strongly and calmly. During such times, facing inaccurate rumors requires patience and calmness. Instead of reacting angrily or panicking, use reason to objectively assess the situation and act understandingly. Silence can be a strong and wise response. Instead of speaking out to defend one's honor, choose silence and patience. Let time and truth provide the answers to any doubt and suspicion. Look beyond and realize that silence is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of patience and self-control. Sometimes, not speaking is the best way to protect oneself and maintain inner calm. Ultimately, remember that true strength does not come from reacting angrily or being upset, but from patience and confidence in maintaining silence and facing challenges with composure and wisdom. But don't misunderstand me. You can choose to remain silent and let time respond, or you can choose a wiser path. Imagine you're working in a large organization, an environment where rumors and information spread quickly. One day, you hear a rumor that you were suddenly promoted because you catered to the emotions of your boss. 
This rumor surprises and confuses you, but also provides an opportunity to practice Stoic philosophy in everyday life. Instead of getting angry or worried, you choose calmness and confidence. The first thing you do is face this information directly, not denying or ignoring it. Instead, you proactively meet with your boss to have an open and direct conversation to clarify any misunderstandings. By doing so, you not only show trust and honesty, but also maintain faith in yourself and the value you bring to the organization. Facing rumors is not just a personal challenge, but also an opportunity to build patience and confidence. By applying Stoic philosophy, you can overcome any situation and become stronger in the process. Have you ever faced false rumors about yourself? How did you handle it? We're very open to hearing and sharing your stories in the comments section of this video. Lesson number five, when criticized unjustly, when criticized unfairly, your first reaction might be to defend yourself. However, Epictetus introduced a new approach. If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you, but answer, he was ignorant of my other faults, else he would not have mentioned these alone. This is a profound lesson in self-awareness and self-control. Facing criticism, especially when it's unfair, is inevitable in life. For those facing irrational criticism, the first step for a stoic is restraint. Instead of getting angry and reacting hastily, listen and discern the truth. As Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Self-control is not only a display of strength, but also a fundamental element that distinguishes a respectable individual from one utterly lacking in dignity. Acceptance of truth. A stoic does not dispute reality, even if it may be an injustice. Instead, they recognize that understanding is the key to mental freedom. Their acceptance is not an agreement with injustice, but an acknowledgement that something is beyond their control. Silence is strength. In situations where defense becomes futile, silence becomes an invaluable tool. It's not only an expression of control, but also the only way to prevent injustice from escalating into an endless argument. Confidence in silence. Silence is not a sign of weakness, but a manifestation of confidence. A stoic knows that strength comes not only from voicing one's opinion, but also from the ability to restrain and choose wisely what to say. In a world filled with injustice and unfair criticism, Stoic philosophy stands out as a source of strength and self-mastery. By accepting the truth, leveraging the power of silence, and trusting in righteousness, we not only live a life of ethics and patience, but also serve as a beacon in the lives of others, bringing hope and belief in a turbulent world. Before we move to Lesson 6, I want to express my gratitude and congratulations for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here indicates that you are fully ready for this journey. Therefore, let's shift our focus to the remaining five lessons of maintaining silence as we continue to refine ourselves. Lesson number six, when dealing with loss. Loss, an inevitable truth of life, often brings deep emotions and challenging hardships. Loss exists in many forms. It can be the pain of losing a loved one, the void from losing a job, or the emptiness from parting with something we hold dear. All are an unavoidable part of our journey. It is a storm that can make us feel lost and powerless in the face of relentless waves of despair. When we face loss, the most important thing is to accept and understand that everything is temporary. Life is like a journey through a turbulent sea with big waves and storms. We can't control everything, but we can control how we react. This is the strength of optimistic thinking and patience that Stoicism teaches us. The most important thing we need to remember is to learn how to detach ourselves from external fluctuations. The calmness and tranquility of the mind not only help us overcome difficult times, but also are the foundation of happiness and peace in life. Through mental training and patience, we can face any difficulty directly and wisely. However, Stoicism is not about seeking numbness or avoiding emotions. It's about accepting all emotions naturally and controlling them soberly. By doing so, 
we can live a meaningful life and enjoy every moment, whether joyful or sad. Ultimately, as we overcome challenges, we become stronger and capable of helping others. Through each experience of loss, we learn to cherish life and the love around us. This is the greatest motivation for us to continue to grow and become the best version of ourselves. So if you are ready to face loss, leave a comment. I choose strength. I choose growth. And let's keep moving forward. Lesson number seven. The stoic silence amidst boasts. Life always presents challenges that we must face every day. Among these challenges, self-control is often the key to overcoming them. In Stoic philosophy, maintaining silence is not only a manifestation of inner peace, but also a way to express patience and a deep understanding of oneself and the world around. When faced with praise, do not let yourself be swept away by complacency and arrogance. Instead, view these compliments with mental independence and not be influenced by gossip or the judgments of others. In silence, you will find strength from the understanding that our self-worth does not depend on external attention or acclaim, but on being in harmony with ourselves and with what is right. One of the greatest challenges we face in maintaining silence amidst praise and complacency is the temptation of ego. In a society where self-promotion and self-praise are often favored, refusing to engage in this race can lead to pressure and feelings of instability. However, Patience and mental independence are considered extremely valuable qualities. Maintaining silence amidst praise and complacency is a manifestation of strength and depth of thought. Finally, maintaining silence amidst praise and complacency is not only a manifestation of self-control, but also a way to create an inner space for peace and spiritual freedom. In the modern world where complacency and arrogance are often glorified, Silence in Stoic philosophy becomes a manifestation of strength and self-control. Lesson number eight, navigating the seas of ignorance with Stoic grace. In the journey of life, we often cross the vast seas of uncertainty, where the waves of unpredictability and mystery are always ready to challenge our resilience. Facing these challenges is not only a battle with external difficulties, but also a journey of self-discovery and self-conquest. In those challenging moments, Stoic philosophy shines like a light breaking through the darkness, guiding us to overcome ambiguity with patience and decisiveness. Amid the vast ocean of uncertainty, feeling lost is inevitable. However, Stoicism teaches us that not knowing is not only a temporary state, but also the essence of life. Accepting that we cannot foresee everything as normal, and even opens the door to discovery learning, and growth. Facing uncertainty does not mean giving up or being afraid but standing firm and empathetic. This requires courage, patience, and the willingness to embrace the flow of change and uncertainty. Moreover, in moments of not knowing, silence is not a sign of weakness, but an expression of strength and confidence. Keeping silent helps us control ourselves, creates space for self-reflection, and makes us more sensitive to our own emotions and those of others, thereby responding maturely and profoundly. With the spirit of Stoicism, we not only successfully overcome the challenges of the unknown, but also become stronger and more resilient. It is not just a journey, but a profound experience of the essence of life and existence. So like and share this video if you find within yourself the strength, depth, and peace in life. Lesson number nine, the stoic art of silence amidst unfounded rumors. Silence is not merely the absence of speech, but a wise choice, a means for us to delve deep into our inner self and gain a profound understanding of the vast universe around us. From a stoic perspective, amidst the storm of misinformation, silence is not a sign of helplessness. It is moreover evidence of latent strength and decisiveness. By choosing to be silent, we do not just create space for reflection and evaluation of events within insight, but we also solidify the walls protecting our soul and intellect from external disturbances. In that silence, we do not hastily react to baseless criticism or rumors, nor do we let emotions or doubts dominate. 
Instead, we maintain our dignity and ethics under the light of Stoicism. Silence is not refusal or failure, but a manifestation of certainty and patience. In silence, we discover freedom and inner strength, allowing us to face and overcome any challenge with perseverance and clarity. Followers of Stoicism understand that silence is not just the absence of words, but also a symbol of mental strength and decisiveness. In that silence, they find the strength to reject baseless words and protect their morals. They do not allow misinformation to shatter their belief and self-confidence. Instead, they regard silence as a shield, a means to protect the soul and mind from negative external influences. In silence, we find not only peace but also the strength to regulate our emotions and stand firm for justice and truth. This is when we deeply experience the true meaning of silence, not as an expression of weakness, but as an expression of spiritual strength and clarity in thought. Lesson number 10. Embracing silence in the face of uncertainty. In the modern world full of turmoil, uncertainty is always an inevitable part of life. Facing challenges and ambiguous situations, sometimes silence is not just a choice but an art, a noble expression of Stoic philosophy. In society where everything seems to float in a sea of fire of information and reasoning, silence becomes a powerful weapon. Instead of hastily responding or reacting strongly to every flicker of light or shadow, choose to keep yourself in a state of quiet. In moments of ambiguity and unclearness, when everything becomes vague and hard to understand, stay calm. Accept that silence is a part of us and a source of mental energy and patience. From facing difficult decisions to accepting unforeseen changes, embracing silence in the face of uncertainty is not only a wise approach, but also a spiritual manifestation of autonomy and sagacity. But to truly understand and apply silence in the face of uncertainty, we need to train ourselves. We need to practice self-control and not let external fluctuations disorient us. We need to learn how to stay calm and accept the unknown instead of being swept into the sea of anxiety and fear. Remember, in silence, we not only find peace, but also discover our own strength. Facing uncertainty, silence becomes an indispensable part of a true life, helping us find faith and autonomy. It also keeps our soul in a state of peace and wisdom. With Stoic philosophy, embracing silence in the face of uncertainty is not just an approach, but a way of life. Explore and demonstrate your own strength through silence, and let it guide us through all challenges and difficulties in life. When we listen to the voice of silence, we learn the deepest lessons about ourselves and the world around us. In the journey of cultivating the mind according to Stoic philosophy, the above are ten situations in which we should choose mutus to deeply understand the value of restraint, listening, and respect. This is not only a lesson in maturity, but also the key to opening the door to spiritual freedom and inner peace. Every time we choose to stay silent in difficult situations, we not only protect ourselves from hasty words, but also cultivate a patient, wise, and compassionate soul. In this way, Mutus becomes a powerful tool that helps us approach and solve problems more intelligently and humanely, but so that this journey not only stops at each person but also spreads to the community, I urge you to accompany us. Please leave your mark through sharing and liking, so that together we can build a strong community where knowledge and love are constantly exchanged. Please leave a comment to share your opinion and the lesson that interests you the most. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any valuable lessons about life and the path of cultivating the mind according to Stoic philosophy. Together, we will create a world that is more open, deeper, and more meaningful.